On a blustery Sunday in June of 1992, Tom Kite arrived at famed Pebble Beach focused on the task at hand, winning a major championship. However, one thing he hadn't planned on was leaving his trusty lob wedge at home. In a fitting act on Father's Day, Tom Sr. was able to deliver his son's wedge prior to his tea time. A favorite club of Tom's throughout his career, it came in handy for a memorable pitch in the rough near the seventh green. Hit it! Hit it! Yeah! Tom would go on to win that U.S. Open while enduring the brutal conditions at Pebble. He would later say, if you were to win a major championship, it would be the U.S. Open. And if you had to pick a golf course to win it, Pebble Beach is not a bad place. Long before he was raising the U.S. Open trophy on the 18th green at Pebble Beach, Tom Kite was a young man from McKinney, Texas, born to avid golfers Tom Sr. and Maureen Kite in 1949. When his family was relocated to Austin, Texas, Tom began playing golf at Austin Country Club, where he became a star pupil of the legendary golf coach Harvey Penick. Penick could see from a very young age that Tom had a special combination of natural skill and internal competitive drive. Tom went on to play for the University of Texas from 1969 to 1972. As an All-American, he racked up nine collegiate tournament wins. The Texas golf team at the time was a force, as Tom was teammates with fellow We Met Award honoree Ben Crenshaw. Together, the two led their team to back-to-back -back national championships in 1971 and 1972. Tom didn't waste any time making his mark after turning pro, finishing his inaugural season as Rookie of the Year. Throughout the 70s and 80s, Tom earned what would become his nickname, Mr. Consistency. For seven straight years, he was the only player on tour to win an event in each season. In 1989, he was again the leading money winner, highlighted by a memorable win at the Players' Championship. Tom also became a stalwart on the U.S. Ryder Cup team, winning five times from 1979 to 1993. Soon after his Ryder Cup playing days were over, Tom received one of the ultimate honors in golf and was named U.S. Captain of the 1997 team. While they were bested by a narrow margin, team members spoke glowingly of Tom's captaincy. His on-course success aligned with many of his personal milestones off the course. In 1975, Tom met his wife, Christy, and they were married later that year. The couple welcomed three children during the 1980s, Stephanie, David, and Paul. Sadly, Christy, his loving and supportive wife of 40 years, passed away in 2015 after a battle with cancer. An accomplished college golfer herself, she is remembered as a dedicated and loving mother and grandmother, and as critical a partner to Tom's on-course success as any other factor in his life. Tom is a proud father and grandfather who deeply enjoys spending time with his growing family whenever possible. Along with that, he added golf course designer to his resume and perhaps most famously designed Liberty National Golf Club. He is a dedicated Longhorn alum and an active ambassador of the First Tee program across the country, among other initiatives. Tom's legacy in the game of golf is undeniable and fittingly, he was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame in 2004 with an introduction from his lifelong friend, teammate, and rival, Ben Crenshaw. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 We Met Annual Banquet Honoree and the recipient of the 2020 Francis We Met Award for lifelong contributions to golf, Mr. Tom Kite. <laughs>